Hello. I haven't sat down and spoke to the camera in months and it feels so weird. I thought I'd try and get back into it with a haul. Apologies for my throat. I'm suffering with a real bad like head cold this past week so if I sound like a man that is why. So the first thing I've got to show you is a shampoo range and it's Planter 21 it's called. Basically it's a caffeine treatment for your hair for hair growth. Now if you follow me for ages you'll know that I completely shaved my head. God how many years ago is it now? It's got to be three or four years ago and ever since then I've been trying to grow it out into like a bob that's the same length all the way around. I cut a short fringe in um, in that time and where that's been growing out my shortest layer is still like here so I'm trying to get it to the same length as the rest of my hair. So I thought a caffeine shampoo would be the perfect thing to try out basically. So I picked up Planter 21. I've tried caffeine shampoos in the past and they're good, they, they do make your hair grow, but I find that it completely strips your hair of every single bit of life that it's got left in it and makes it really dry, whereas this, I got it in a gift pack off Amazon, I think it was like £27, you get the shampoo, the conditioner and like a Nutri, it's called Nutri Caffeine Elixir, which you rub into dry hair and uh, you just let it dry. My hair gets greasy within like two days, it's really annoying. And since I've been using this, I can go like three days without washing my hair. So I absolutely adore it. It's aimed at all sorts of stuff like hair loss, uh, thinning of the hair, hair that falls out when you wash it, which I suffer from so much. Like literally I can pull my hair out. It comes out in great big clumps. I don't know if that's because I, tie, I have my hair tied up on a daily basis or I have it plaited like this and when I'm styling it, it pulls the hair um, and I only notice it when I wash it out. It smells amazing too. And also I find, sorry I keep babbling on about it, this leaves you with that bit of texture in still so you can still do styling um, and you don't have to add a load of product in to be able to style your hair. So I love how this leaves your hair feeling. Next beauty thing I've got, I've mentioned this before because I've been receiving it and it's the Love Me Beauty. Uh, subscription. They've changed their packaging and I love it. They come in like this little cute makeup bag with their logo on. This month is amazing. I'm not a beauty girl. I'm not a subscription box person. I wouldn't usually bother with them um, but this is awesome. I really like it and I'm not just saying that because it's been sent to me. Um, I genuinely love every product that's been in these ever since I've been receiving them. I wouldn't feature it if I was bullshitting. The first thing in it is the Renu, I think it's Renu or Renu, Renu, could be Renu, yeah I've probably been thick there. It's the Lip and Eye Active Lift, it comes in this tiny little bottle but there's a load of product in there. Basically it's just for firming, so I use it under my eyes and round my lips because I have the thinnest lips known to man. I haven't really seen results off it that much but I like how it feels, it makes it it kind of does make your under eye quite plump. I can't really say anything about my lips because I'm not expecting miracles there. Next thing is a beauty blender. I have got the Real Techniques one, but Bert decided to chew it up. So I was in need of a new one. So I will be using, I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna be using that soon. Now I've got Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil by Cordely. I've never tried Cordely products before and there's two in here and I love them. Oh my God. I don't know where I've been, but this is amazing. It's just like, it's kind of like a gel and you rub it all over your makeup and then just rinse it off and it takes every last bit off. I adore this. I'm definitely going to buy the bigger size of this. And then the other Cordely product is their Radiance Serum. This, oh my God, I need the full size of it. I need the full size of both. I've never, ever, ever tried Cordely and I'm so chuffed with what it does. Makeup just glides on top of this. I think it's amazing, such a good product, so... Love that. Then, weirdly, I've got a nipple balm, <laughs> but it's Dr. Lip's original nipple balm for lips, so it's like a yeah, lip moisturiser. It's 100% natural. I love this. I've been using it on my lips, and you can use it on cuts and burns and anything. It's really, really good. The last two products I was blown away by because it's makeup forever. You get a mini mascara, which is the excessive lash. Now, I've got this on now. I love it. And it's not that mini for a mini. It's quite a, a generous size and um, the wand is really nice at the moment i'm using the ico uh waterproof mascara and i fucking hate it like i wish i'd never bought it i think it was 15 to 18 pound and i can't stand it it's too wet it's so clumpy uh, i have to like wipe it on tissue to use it because it's just too, i can't stand it so i was so grateful for a new mascara <laughs> through the post i'm still using the ico one as well because i don't like wasting product but seriously uh, 
I, I hate the Ico one. It's easy to get off as well. The Ico one is an absolute nightmare to get off. So I don't recommend you get that. And then you get the high definition powder from Makeup Forever, which I've heard so much about. Um, I'm wearing it again today. I like how it is inside because you only just have to tap your brush on it and it comes out and you get a lot of product. I set my concealer and any like shiny spots with this. It is so good. It just looks flawless. It's the best thing in the pouch this month. I'm going to leave the uh, Love Me Beauty subscription link in the bottom as well, just in case you want to check it out. This top clearly doesn't fit me anymore. Why have I got it on? So on to fashion now. I've been trying to save money. I'm going on holiday in May, so I've just had to pay out for that. But I have bought a few bits here and there. So I was on the market for a new backpack, and I got this one from work. Um, new look, if you don't know where I work. And it, I just feel like it's, it looks more expensive than it's from New Look and I like the tassel on it. And you can fit so much in it, I absolutely love it. So it looks really stylish. I feel like it looks a bit like it's from Whistles or something. It goes with every outfit as well. If you feel like your outfit's too dressy as well and you just chuck this on and it completely casuals it down. So love it and for 20 quid, you can't really complain. I was a bit naughty and... <laughs> blabbing on yeah i'm trying to save money i bought myself a new pair of sunglasses i've been after these for years so i can justify it and i did buy them in prescription so it was more expensive they're the ray-ban um round lenses i'm not sure what they're called but they look like that and they're all over my blog if you read my blog i'm just wearing them in every outfit post i absolutely love them they look like that on and yeah, basically there's a story behind them. <laughs> I bought them from a sunglasses shop, I think. Yeah, anyway, they're 125 quid for your prescription. I put my prescription in and I was all excited. And I was like, oh my God, yes, it's gonna be so cool. They turned up and they didn't have the Ray-Ban logo in the top. And I was like, what the fuck? I need them to say Ray-Ban because I'm that materialistic. And that's why I bought them, because they're Ray-Ban. And then emailing back and forth, trying to get hold of somebody. Apparently they don't print the Ray-Ban logo on prescription lenses. So luckily they put the old lenses in with the package as well. So I went to my opticians and got them to change them to the original lenses, which if I had bought them with just these in, it would have been £85. So yes, I wasted my money and that makes me sound like a wanker wanting them to say Ray-Ban, but I don't care. I love them. I've got other sunglasses with my prescription in, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know. I just love them. I love how they look, and yeah. I did consider returning them, getting my money back, and then just buying them for 85 quid, but in, oh, in my eyes, that's just a fucking ball ache, so I didn't bother. Then I've got a couple of items which are not me at all. Um, I've got a couple of weddings coming up, so I'm trying to gather some outfits to see what I could wear. I don't know, they're just not me at all. From Chicwish. First thing is this butterfly jumpsuit. I love the print, it is really feminine. Not me, but I thought I'd try it out anyway. It's got pockets too, which I love. And it's got like a ruffle neckline. Whether or not I'll be able to pull this off, I don't know, but we'll try. So I'm gonna try and style it. Now the next thing is a dress and I just love the print of this. It's got like, I don't know what they are, would they be poppies? I don't know, it's got like a ruffle um, neckline, it's quite high, uh, long sleeves and it's kind of like a shift shape and it's got bell sleeves as well, which look like that. And the next few bits are from Romwe and she inside, as always, you know the drill. A few bits I like, a few bits I don't. Firstly is this play suit. It looks absolutely gorgeous off, but as soon as you put it on, it kind of like all sticks up at the shoulders, so. But it does on me anyway. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't fit me right. It might fit somebody else, but I absolutely love it. And I was gutted when I tried it on because this bit sticks out. Unless it's the lace that isn't done up properly. I don't know whether you can adjust that. Oh yeah, I might have a go, see if I can adjust it, but I love it. It's so pretty and I want to do some more festivals and stuff this year, so I will be wearing that if I can make it look good around the chest. The next thing I am in love with, I've just done a blog post on this, so I'll leave the link to it below if you want to see it styled. It's this bomber jacket. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. When it first came through the post, Paul was like, what the hell is that? And so was I a little bit, but I tried it on and I've styled it up and I absolutely adore it. Now the days are getting that little bit warmer. I don't need a coat and this is quite thick. It's like a yeah, 
scuba material so I can just wear like a vest top with this over the top and I'm warm enough so I love it and then I got a bodysuit which I feel like my body is too long for it I absolutely love it it's ribbed and it's backless and I love everything backless obviously because I've got my back tattooed I just like it on show um I can get into it it's just very snug around the vulva sounds such a horrible word but yeah I love it it's really nice. I probably should have got a size up. So if you are going to get it, size up. I like it. I will fit into it. Then I just got some black. They're kind of like smart joggers, I suppose. They're covered in dog hair, so I apologise. And they've got like the tassels here. Pockets. And they taper down into like a tighter bottom. Love these. They go with anything. I wear them to work almost every day. Just because they're so comfy. And you can wear them high-waisted as well, which I like. I hate trousers that sit on your hips. I haven't got any time for them. As I was saying, the days are getting warmer and I don't... I refuse to wear a coat now unless I'm going, like, dog walking and it's really windy. I will not wear a coat just because I want it to be summer. And it's annoying me that it's not. So I'm trying to get pieces that I can wear instead of a coat. I quite like long cardigans, so I got this black knitted one. It's so nice. Um, it hasn't got buttons on it or anything. It's just this big drapey, cosy, knitted cardigan basically. Comes right down to the backs of my knees. I love it. Again, goes with everything. I wear it with my mum jeans and like a crop top most of the time and my Adidas trainers. It's just nice to throw on and it's still warm. Then another thing from Shein Side. I wish I'd have sized down in this. I got it bigger because if you do shop on the way in Shein Side, you'll know that you have to size up because their clothes are just tiny. Um, so I sized up and it's too big but it's really nice. It's like ruffle sleeves and then it's crisscrossed in the middle. But honestly, you can see the whole of my breast. Yeah, not a fan. I got this see-through like cropped shirt and it's, when you open it up, it's like a complete box. I really like it. The sleeves come past my elbows. It's just big, baggy. You can put anything underneath it. I feel like it's quite a staple thing to have. You should have a black shirt in your wardrobe. So it's a black shirt with a bit of a twist and I like it. And I like that it's got black buttons. You can hardly see them when it's on. And then the last thing is this dress. Now, it looked like a t-shirt kind of dress on the website. It's really long. I'm five foot six and it's really long. It's like a bright orange t-shirt. And then it goes all the way down into a maxi. I think it, well, it splits a bit at the bottom. But I'm planning on cutting this so it's wearable because it just drags on the floor. It's far too long for me. So I'm probably going to cut it mid-thigh or just above my knees. But the colour is just stunning. This with gold Birkenstocks in the summer. I think it might have a bit of linen in the fabric. I love it. It's like a cotton linen mix, I think. Yeah, it's so nice. Really lightweight. I can just imagine myself floating along the beach with this on. One more thing I've just remembered are these shoes I bought from New Look. Now, I absolutely adore the um, Rihanna and Puma Creeper collection. And I was waiting for the high street to come out with some dupes. And I think Public Desire, I've got some really, I really want the pink Public Desire ones with the brown bottoms. But I found that New Look do the black ones. They're all black. And I really like them like that and then they've got like the creeper sole super comfortable they're just like wearing a heeled trainer basically and i love them i think they look really nice with that orange dress as well so i might wear that this week 20 pound i think they're pretty cool so guys that was my haul i hope you enjoyed it i hope my voice hasn't annoyed you or the fridge hasn't annoyed you or anything about me has annoyed you i'm not feeling great Hello, you. You come and say hello. Oh my god, you're so heavy. Oh, who's that? Who is it? Oh, he's so sleepy today, aren't you? Oh, good boy. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, let's have a chat in the comments because I haven't spoke to any of you for ages. And I hope you enjoy your week. I will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Why do you smell like shit? <laughs> oh, he's such a good boy.